some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Marion, Iowa with Afro Man Audits as he attempts to get service at a police station. But you know what? His nasty attitude makes the officers want to, well, boot him out of the building. And he gets absolutely no service whatsoever because of that. Well, perhaps he should learn the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated, and then maybe he'll get better service. But you know what? I don't think he'll be able to learn that, because he's not exactly that intelligent. At any rate, let's go and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Get away, from the, get away from the squad car. Do you hey, don't touch me. Get away from don't the squad Don't touch car. me. Punk. public property, sir. So am I. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Hey, I'm What's talking to name? you. What's your name? What's your name? You're a public servant. What's your name? No. Go find know. out. Dude, if there's one term I hate hearing all the time out of you frauditors, it is the term public servant, which denotes that uh, a position where you, they have to kiss your ass all the time every day. In fact, that's the way you dehumanize the police officers, because you know what? If you consider them less than human, like a servant, then you're more willing to treat them like an animal or worse. Which would partially account for uh, your nasty attitude toward anybody you consider a public servant. Because, you know what? Who cares about a servant? They're at their every beck and call, so they should bow down and lick your boots. Isn't that right? Afro man. Go on. Go on. Go on. We don't need a babysitter. I think you, you might. I'm not sure that you don't. I think you need a babysitter. You're up here with your panties in a bunch. Are you impersonating an officer? It's a pretty easy question, yes or no. Well now, with an attitude like that, is it any wonder why nobody wants to hire you for a job at any given time? And especially with that nasty little fro you got on your head, I mean, oh boy, I'm sure there must be lice crawling out of that thing. Is that what you tell a judge when a judge asks you your name? This is what we get in Des Moines, Iowa, everyone. This is a scum like this. Well now, Chia Pethead, uh, of course he wouldn't say that to a judge, because, you know what, he knows better than to say it to a judge, but you, on the other hand, you're just a low-life scumbag, and that's exactly why you're calling him a scumbag, because, you know what, projection and all, you can't stand to look at yourself in a mirror and realize how much of a scumbag you truly are. So you gotta project, reflect, and deflect. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yep, Quinn, 5023. See, so look at how simple that was. This guy doesn't know how to identify. Are you a boss? Your car? You're not impersonating an right. officer, but this guy is. Because yeah, he won't video, identify They're himself. videotaping your computer screen. Yeah, oh, sir, that is a... That, 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 that's a, that's a violation. It's a violation on your policy, though. Make sure you close the computers. Just make sure you close that up next time. Are you going to identify, sir? Yeah. Sir, are you going to identify? You know what? I'm going to need a citation on that one because every time I hear you frauditors say that it's in their policy, generally uh, you people don't have the ability to read that far into a policy, so you just pull stuff out of your ass. Go suck a dick. What's your name and badge? He said we'll wait around here all day. No, you have 15 minutes. No, we don't. We've already looked it up. It's open till 7, bud. What was that? And you will either be escorted from the building or I will arrest you. No, you won't. You're threatening me with You're arrest? You're threatening us with arrest in a public building? Yes. How can you do that when we haven't committed a crime? Well, well now, this is another uh, commonality with you frauditors where you can't even understand the simple fact that you can be trespassed from any public building in any state. It doesn't matter whether or not you committed a crime or not. That's not a prerequisite for that. In fact, you can be uh, asked to leave if you're not needed or wanted there, and they can trespass you. 
And you know what, Afro Man? I'm usually never disappointed with uh, how stupid you are because you have set the bar so low in stupidity that, uh, well, you would have to work very hard just to disappoint me. In 15 minutes, it's going to be trespassing. How? I thought it was how? you guys open to 7. You are open yeah, till 7. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm here for police business, so I'm, I'm, I wonder why you're threatening to arrest me when I'm doing a FOIA request. I'm not threatening you. I'm you threatened you me! Are. You threatened me! You You've threatened already threatened you have threatened to arrest us. What you're us. saying to me is I'm not listening to it anymore. Can I get a complaint form? I need one for you now, too. Oh, yeah, I'm really sure that the officer is shaking in his boots to, at the fact that you're going to file a complaint on him. I mean, you're so well known in that area for complaints anyway that I'm sure his uh, superiors will look at the uh, complaint form and take it with a grain of salt considering they know where it's coming from and they'll probably just laugh at you and throw it away. So you have two complaint, two paper complaint forms. For what? The complaint forms. Yeah. They're not over there. Not over there. I need you to print one out. Nope. Yep. Complaint form for what? An officer complaint form for your actions and your threat of arrest for standing in a public building, and for you guys having an officer that is impersonating an officer. Do you even hear yourself talk? An officer that's impersonating an officer. Well, if he's already an officer, he's not exactly impersonating an officer. Now, is he? Now, if he was a civilian who had no job in law enforcement, who was wearing the uniform uh, and trying to perform the duties of a police officer, then you would have somebody impersonating an officer. But an officer impersonating an officer? Uh, no. You have to call our Office of Professional Standards. No, I don't. You, you have two complaint forms that you can give to the public to complain on your actions for you making bad actions That's right now. Correct. No, it is not. You can't come to the department and pick up a complaint form to file on. That's correct. What, where would I get that at then? I told you we don't have those forms. You would call our Office of Professional Standards. Where is that at? It's upstairs. Okay, I'll just go up there and talk to him. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Why are you gonna fucking hurt me? Yeah, if you have to hesitate on me asking if you're gonna hurt me, then that scares me. You're more than happy to leave if you like. If you're so scared, uh, you're the one with the gl behind glass that won't serve the public. Yeah, not today, I guess. Not today, really. And you got stripes. You need to lose every one of them. You're unprofessional. You probably only got them because you have to get your way to the top. I'm sorry you feel that way. You gonna help these people? Maybe. It's first come, first serve, so you gotta serve me before you can serve someone else. Well, we're done serving you. Well, gee, if you stopped acting like a complete asshat and to stop acting like these guys are your servants, uh, they're supposed to be there for your every beck and call. Maybe you would get better service. But until then, you're not going to get any. You're doing her job for her right now. Okay. So I'd like to talk to the records lady who might actually be able to help. It doesn't really matter what you want. You're not charged. Really? That's it doesn't matter what the public wants. That's 11 minutes, gentlemen. So you're setting a limit. 11 minutes before you hurt me? 11 minutes before you're going to leave one way or another. Is I'm that a threat? I'm refusing right now to yes. provide the information. Yes. See, look, look at this. You should probably go get an attorney. Get an attorney. Get an attorney for a FOIA request. Are you that brain dead? Yep. So if you want a way to contact you, you can certainly write that on there, and we will process that. No, nah, we're we just need to, we need your supervisor. We need somebody else yeah, to talk to. Yeah, we need your to. supervisor, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody else to talk to because you don't know squat. I'm sorry, it doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, it does. I if I request a supervisor, you're supposed to go get a supervisor because clearly you're incompetent and can't do your job. Well, now, uh, at least this officer has a job, and he has a few straps on his arm, which basically means he's been doing a lot better at this job than you think he is, and he knows it a lot better than you. But tell me something, dude. Have you ever held a job in your life that didn't involve uh, being a parasitic leech on uh, the government uh, welfare system?
Yeah, that's all you are is a leech on our system. I mean, there are other people that need that money more than you, but you choose to be nothing more than a uh, welfare recipient who actually can get a job but refuses to do so or can't get a job because of your uh, criminal history and bad attitude. So, well, now everybody's got to suffer because of it. Charge, so I want you get You're not in charge. Who pays your salary? Huh? Who pays it? The taxpayers? So you listen to the taxpayers, don't you? Look at the hypocrisy. Uh, Look at this. They help another customer. I got the title for it. This woman doesn't know how to work, except for uh, people she wants to. That's discrimination, 100%. And this cop can't wait to touch me because he gets off on it. Now, who the hell would want to touch you? I mean, one encounter with you and people will be running to the nearest hardware store to get some bleach and gasoline to get completely disinfected from your stench. Oh, God, big guy. Oh, here, I'm in the fucking police department. I ain't even over here. Then don't talk to me, bud. Leave me alone. Turn around. I'm, I'm not fucking joking, man. I'm fucking Are you provoking a fight? Turn the camera around. Are you provoking man. a fight? Why would you walk up to a camera if you don't want to be recorded? I don't give a I said get it off me. My 15 year old's back then, I don't want her on your record camera. This. this guy's going to try to touch me. Please get her off. I just want to know why you're so hot. Because my child's over here and I don't want her on your camera. Calm down, you're being disorderly. Point it that way. Calm down, you're being disorderly. You remind me of Ass Elmo. He doesn't even know what the definition of disorderly is either because he's always calling others disorderly when he's the one causing the problems, much like you. So, uh, we shouldn't really take your word on what disorderly conduct is considering, well, uh, you are disorderly all the time. And you know what? If you had a better personality, I am sure that you would have gotten better service there. But you know what? That's not exactly your way. You're not there to charm people. You're just there to act like a complete asshat and make a story out of it to, to make yourself look like a hero. But uh, to most people, you're nothing more than a zero. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.